everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily card reading for November 26, 2021. Let's see what we have going on for today. <laughs> I guess this is the card. <laughs> it was like I was going to like put it back in the deck and it was, you got to stop with this. You guys, it's see the bigger picture again. Are these cards just sticky? I'm going to put it back in, okay? Because that's too spooky. And if you don't know what that card is, look at any other day of the week. <laughs> Keeps coming up. That was weird. Okay. If it comes out again, I'm leaving. I quit. <laughs> Forget it. No spooky stuff around here. No, thank you. All right. <laughs> God. All right, there's one sticking out. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, thank God. It's not that one card. Okay, full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. See, this is what we're working towards here. Trying to get into that flow and, you know, not allowing our our life force to be sucked away. That's really what's going on here. Our life force gets drained. And then we have full moon in Cancer. Let your fears dissolve. Yeah, when we... Here, now I got to put the deck down. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> when we uh, let these, here, let's do it this way. We let the fears dissolve. Now we're in the flow. Now we're in our power, our true power. Okay. Right now we're trying to all engage in a game that we didn't create, nor did we approve of it, except for our participation, <laughs> right? So we didn't come in saying, oh yeah, I am willingly going to participate in this. We just found ourselves thrown into it and we've been told that we have to does that make sense am I saying that right I may not be but I, I feel like uh it's time for us to break out of this toxic cycle and this isn't because see people love to accuse others of fear-mongering and anybody who's doing that I always see them as the toxic one I just get a, a frequency from them it's like they're trying to make someone look bad right now if it's like true fear-mongering okay fine you want to call them out. But that's not what people are doing. They're doing anything to try to tear each other down. Part of people accusing others of fear mongering, just as an example, is to tear somebody down. It's to tear them down when they're speaking up. They're trying to get some truth out there. Oh, you're just trying to upset everybody. You're rocking the boat. Don't rock the boat, you know, kind of thing. So when we get into a space, it's not going to happen... Outward in, you hear me say this all the time, it's inward out. So no matter what's going on in the world, we have to come inside ourselves and say, I don't have to accept, we've been saying this, this kind of treatment. I don't have to be fearful. I don't have to give in. I've been shopping for a house for a couple of years and the housing market obviously has gone absolutely insane. I have my one single income. Can you imagine how many of you out there could afford a house on your own in a place like Colorado Springs? I don't, I don't know that many of you could if you have just like a regular job, right? But, um, you know, I, I still refuse to give in <laughs> and put money down on a house that's $200,000 more than what it's actually worth. I'm not doing it, right? So I'm, I'm choosing to step back from this narrative that's out there, this game that's going on with the real estate market, just as an example. So where else are we going to start putting our foot down and say, no, we're not going to participate in that, okay? I have another funny example. Have you guys ever gone to an airport late at night or you've gotten off a plane late at night, can't get an Uber or a Lyft driver? This happened to me last time I traveled at the airport and uh, it was me and a bunch of other passengers standing out there and none of us could get a driver. None of us could get a ride. We were stranded. <laughs> Nobody was going out and picking us up. And uh, they started jacking up the price on the, the Uber ride. And I think Lyft was doing this too. At one point, my $20 fare was over $100. And I remember I looked over at some of the other people and I said, are you guys getting price gouged right now? And they're like, yeah, our ride is supposed to be $150. I said, how about we all just don't engage that, just leave it. And sure enough, a few minutes later, it came down. My ride was going to be like $25. And finally a driver showed up. That is an example of if we all just don't give in. Okay, we could do examples of this all day. Ladies, stop giving in to toxic guys if you're straight. Stop giving in to that. 
if we all just stand back and say, we're not accepting, I'm not trying to incite anything here. <laughs> I'm just saying like, if you say, no, I'm going to use my power to not buy that. If I don't, you know, back up what that stands for, or like the Uber example, if somebody actually gave in and paid that, that enables them to keep doing what they're doing. You feel me? So I don't really know how that's going to look in every scenario, but we'll see. <laughs> so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.